We're gonna see what $101 in there gets you. Look at the hail! Coulter Bay. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So it's a rainy, gloomy morning out this morning. We actually had a thunderstorm roll through early this morning, which was kind of cool. But we're checking out of the Grovant campground here at the southern part of Grand Teton National Park. And oh my god, it hurts to say it, but we're going to check into our most expensive campground slash RV park that we've ever stayed in. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's $101 a night. Like, I don't even know why we're staying there. Well, I do. We had a last minute change in our route and this campsite happened to be open for better or worse. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Paying $100 a night. Is it for better or for worse? Don't know. But we're going to the Coulter Bay RV Park, which is actually still in the National Park. I can't believe that national parks are charging this much for an RV park, but it is what it is, I guess. We're going to see what $101 a night gets you, and uh, at least we'll get laundry out of it. We've got our laundry all packed up back here because we're hoping to start the laundry before we even like get to our site and unhook. That way we can go and put the laundry in the dryer um, after we unhook and it'll be a smooth process. Anyways, Luke's just hooking up now so I better finish getting ready in here and meet him up there and then take the about an hour drive up to Coulter Bay. We're leaving here right at 11. Normally we hit the road kind of around Chloe's first nap, so like 9.30. That way Chloe sleeps when we're on the drive. But today we wanted to wait till after her first nap because 11 o'clock is checkout, 12 o'clock is check-in. We only have a 50 minute drive and she's not going to need the nap on that little bit of a drive. so. We're gonna see how busy the sandy dump line is. It's a Sunday right now and everybody seems to be leaving. So I'm curious if it's gonna be lined up way back. The sandy dump here is a single lineup. So anyone who's taking a long time filling water, only one dump station open, it's a really slow process. So there could be a huge traffic jam coming up here. Yeah, wow, well, like we expected, super busy at the sandy station. I'm really glad that we're actually going to a full hookup spot so we don't need to use the sandy dump and it's just up the road. I mean, I guess that's what $101 gets you. Yeah. along the scenic drive of the Tetons here but it's super rainy and this is like the first day we've even had any rain on our RV let alone driving in it. Being south we've had such nice warm weather and now that we're getting back north more and more I'm just kind of worried driving through this heavy of rain I think we're supposed to get thunderstorms today but we had a bunch of thunder when we woke up this morning at 7 but we're driving right into like a heart of black and gray clouds where you can't even see on the horizon. I'm just so scared that all this rain with our Ridge Metal RV instead of the fiberglass bodies that we're going to eventually get to our site and like somehow it's all going to have been sliding up the front and it'll be like, oh sorry we forgot to uh, fully make your RV waterproof and there's water in your RV. So fingers crossed it's dry when we get there. Alright, so we're at the campground here. Um, the plan was to start the laundry like I said, but we ended up missing the turn, went into the campground, and now we can't turn around, and whatever. We're just gonna unhook, and then Luke's actually gonna go back and fill up the propane with the laundry too, so that'll be nice, two birds and one stone. The campground's looking like kind of empty considering it's fully booked for today, but imagine that, fully booked. There's like, I don't even know how many sites, and everybody is paying $101 a night. <laughs> And we're here. Look at this. Not a bad little pull through there, but we are right by the lake. It's a quick walk to check that out later as well. Again, we're only here one night, kind of like treating ourselves to a hotel. We're gonna bleach our tank and do some other good little stuff while we're here, but 
Looking forward to checking out Coulter Bay. Should be a good time. Well, we're all set up, and it turns out we're gonna kill three birds with one stone. Propane, laundry, and lunch. So this area, it's like where the visitor center is, where the main parking is to go to Jackson Lake. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it's kind of the happening spot. The Coulter Bay Village is what it's called. <laughs> Um, they have a grocery store, they have a coffee bar, they have the laundry and showers which we'll be using. Not the showers, but the laundry. <laughs> and uh, they also have two different restaurants in here which is really cool. Like inside the national park, in this little village, right beside our RV park which is really convenient. I mean, we did drive even though it's right beside because <laughs> we're on the far far end of the RV yeah. park and we need to bring our laundry and our propane and blah blah blah. But yeah, we're gonna go enjoy ourselves, have a little lunch, get some chores done. Should be good. Okay, I had to run to the truck to get the camera. Look at the hail! Oh my goodness. Alright, so we spent $101 to stay here. And <laughs> the weather has been absolutely miserable. It's been pouring rain, thunder, probably lightning. I just didn't see any uh, hail. We had hail while Chloe was napping. It's so funny, like we were talking about it. We spent all this money to come here to see Coulter Bay and it's only for one night because it's so expensive and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, it's just miserable here. But No, it's not. <laughs> Hear me out here. Some people RV and they treat themselves to hotels. We treated ourselves to electric. We could run the fan for Chloe to sleep. We can run the electric heater tonight. We can run our lights. We can charge our battery instead of running the generator a bunch. <laughs> This is our hotel. This is luxury living. It's true. He's not wrong. It's just, <laughs> I find it funny that, you know, we spent all this money and we're like trapped inside. But anyways, we're bundled up now. We're going to go head down to the beach because the rain has momentarily stopped. It's still falling off the trees, but the sun is like peeking through over the lake. Should be a pretty nice view down there. Okay, I will say one of the main perks about spending $101 a night here is that's our RV. There's a path down here. And that is Jackson Lake. Coulter Bay. Okay, that's a nice view. Okay, one thing to note here though, I haven't worn this sweater all trip. <laughs> I think it's like 45 or 50 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Maybe like, I think the high today was 11 degrees Celsius and it's a bit lower than that. So convert if you will, if I'm wrong, but tomorrow is a high of 10 or 11 Celsius. So again, maybe 45 Fahrenheit and they're going to get down to freezing here and they even possibly snow. snow. <laughs> the rest of the world's like having heat waves and stuff right now. Phoenix is cooking. And we're out here in first time sweaters. <laughs> so I don't think it's gonna be as bad. We're heading to Montana tomorrow after this. So looking forward to getting to Montana, seeing something different, but it is chilly out here. Hey, Chloe. But I mean, can you really complain? We got snow-capped mountains in the background. Even like the clouds around the mountains are looking so moody and ominous and pretty. It's beautiful down here. 